Hello, right, boys and girls. This is Nick on the brain from Iron Maiden. Hi, this is Dave May from Iron Maiden. Hello, I'm Bruce Dickinson, and you're listening to Metal Express. Well, uh, Dave, you are finally back together. Um, uh, actually, I never doubted this, this comeback that it would happen. Uh, did you have this uh, in the back of your head at the time you were apart from from uh, Bruce and Adrian? Um, yeah, I mean, when um, Bruce left at the time, it was quite a traumatic time for the band, really. You know, we were going to stay together and everything. But um, maybe, you know, Blaze joined the band for a couple of albums and a couple of tours. But I think it was probably moving back towards Bruce coming back into the band again. I mean, it was quite a natural decision. You know, he, was, he actually made it known to our management and stuff like that. You know, he was interested in coming back in. So when we heard that, we kind of just all got together. And the bonus, you know, having Adrian back in the game as well, it was just a natural development, you know. So it's, 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 you know, this is probably the classic ultimate Iron Maiden lineup, you know. You've got from the past, and obviously we're, we're you know, we're footing there for the future, really. Yeah. Uh, now you're three guitar players, which is quite unusual for, for a metal band. Uh, did you ever consider whether you should be only two or three guitar players when Adrian came back to the band? Yeah. Well. Um, the thing, you know, getting Adrian, I mean, he's a great songwriter, um, and he was in part involved with the band in, you know, in the 80s and, and some of the classic albums, really. So it was a very natural thing. I mean, we all got together for a photo session. Well, well, actually, before that, we all went down the pub, really, and had a few drinks together and just have a chat. And it was quite, um, you know, at that time, it was like, yes, this is going to work, you know. And... Um, and so having the three guitars in now, um, it means this... See, the music's always lent itself to three guitars anyway. I mean, a lot of the albums has three harmonies on it or whatever. But it means now we can approach with, rhythmically a lot of the stuff. It tends to be played a little bit different now. I mean, I think the, the new album reflects that. There's a lot of different rhythm-type things on there that which, which we hadn't touched on before. And it's a real natural process... Um, uh, Kevin Shirley, who produced the album, he's actually a musician, guitar player, so he's separated the three guitars. You can hear the three guitars in there. And there's still, you know, the identity of of the three of us is still there, plus the identity of Iron Maiden is still there, you know, which is uh, the most important thing, you know. So um, there are no problems uh, working together now. I, I, I'm thinking especially about uh, uh, Bruce and also Steve. You know, they've been talking a lot in the press um, the period that they were apart. Uh, they're good friends now, no problems with that. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the press exaggerated it all anyway, you know. I mean, you know, they, those guys got on great, you know. In fact, Bruce, um, Bruce flies himself around. Like, on the last tour, he's, he's got his own plane and he flies himself, and Steve travels with him all the time. So it shows you how it's become a close-knit family. I think everyone's grown up, everyone's become more mature, and it's like, you know, if they I mean, being in the band is a bit like the marriage anyway. You know, there's going to be, you know, especially the amount of travelling you do, people get tired and they get a little bit, you know offhand, they say a, a few wrong things here and there. But it's only because, um, you know, it's that... You know, you wake up feeling differently every day anyway, and you may wake up on the wrong side of the bed, and it can come out sometimes. But ultimately, it do, you know, it was, you know, it doesn't affect the music, you know. And, um, and yeah, we get on great. I mean, we, the band now is as strong as, as it's ever been.